So what loans are getting approved out there? And what loans are not getting approved? Just might interest you. Hello, my name is Barry Horvath and this is Moving Forward TV, your local real estate and mortgage update. And I am Dylan Gaston. Thank you for joining us, Ow, today. Sorry. We are looking at just exactly what does it take to get the mortgage loans and approved these days. And how we can kill a deal, too. It, it does seem like every time an underwriter picks up a file, doesn't it? They're like looking to say, okay, how, how are we going to like kill this deal? But no. they're really not. They're really not. They But Fannie Mae has gotten real strict. We all know that. So what exactly are they looking at? Well, if we we're going to take conventional loans at first, this is ideally what they would like to see, you know, kind of what got approved last year. In a year. perfect world. In a perfect world. <laughs> He's a singer at heart. In a perfect world, this person, the average interest rate last year was 3.9%, which is awesome. The average term, 30 years. Uh, the person put down just over 20%. 21. 21%. They had a 748 FICO score average, and they their debt to income ratio 23% on the housing and 34% on their total overall debt. So they were not over their head. They were not you yeah, know pushing their limits. No no no. Here's what they forgot to tell you, Dylan. They forgot <laughs> to tell you. By the way, I just got a, a new job last month. Yeah, yes, my credit score is great. Oh, by the way, I'm 1099. Oh yeah. And did I tell and I'm you? I'm commission. <laughs> oh, did that short sale matter that I had last year? It yeah. doesn't matter. Does that affect me buying a home? Yes, it does. Okay, let's talk about the denials. The denial bar had a 704 credit, which is still right. awesome credit, and they put down 14%. Now, their debt ratios weren't quite as good. Right. They were like at 43 over 27. So... It, it, what it means is that they're a little bit higher in their debt to income ratio. That's probably what denied them. 704 is a good credit score, but it's not just credit score that gets loans approved yeah, these days. Yeah, think. Okay, and what this doesn't even take into account for is those files that come in, they don't even make it to underwriting. They get scrubbed right. out ahead of time. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so if you were denied for that conventional mortgage, Another option. That a is very viable option. Much more lenient option. Right. Did I hit you yet? <laughs> is an FHA mortgage. FHA mortgages, the average bar that was approved actually had a 700 credit score. A little lower. A little lower. Eee, bitty, lower. But and a great score. A great score again. And they were only putting down 4%. And of course, we know FHA only requires 3.5%. So that's definitely a viable option. I mean, and, if the, the, and their debt to income ratio. Oh, it was 27. Over 44. No. Right? 44 over 27. Sorry. It's all. It's all. <laughs> One of those football things? I don't know. Back, it's all. I do front and back. Front ratio. <laughs> back ratio, 44%. You know what we mean. Because FHA does allow for, so, so for that person, FHA does allow for higher debt to income ratio. So that's a great option for those kind well, of people. Well, hello the government is going to guarantee this money to the bank. So yes. they're going to be more lenient. And, you know, we've even seen um, some of the lenders are even going above 50% on debt-to-income ratios yes. on an FHA. They and, are getting approved. And credit scores, I know they say there is no score requirement right. for an FHA loan, but most banks will go down they to... They all have yeah, an they overlay. Do. Don't let them lie to you. <laughs> yeah, 620 is usually about the norm we're yeah. seeing out there right now with the banks. So why is underwriting so freaking hard? <laughs> why is it so dang hard to get a loan through these days? Ooh. Because underwriting, because defaults are on the rise, that's why. It's unbelievable, but it looks like in the major markets, Chicago, Los Angeles, Miami. Miami, who's Amy? Miami. <laughs> Just in the last three months, up since like the fall, the uh, defaults on mortgages. Now, interestingly enough, I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, car loans and credit cards, people are paying those. Why? But there's, I, I don't What's know. What's up with that? But they're not paying their houses anymore. Is it because they're upside down underwater? So foreclosures, <laughs> no, we're not going there. That's the short sale show. <laughs> so foreclosures are actually up about half a percent in most major markets. Right. Dallas being an exception, because I know the housing market's stronger there, it's up maybe 10 bases up right. there, but it's still up. Right. So the housing market is up. People are stopping paying their mortgages. Their first and their seconds is what's going into default right now. They're paying everything else. I don't know. You don't know. But you know what? If you are in foreclosure, guess what? 
you have some famous company. <laughs> yes, you do. You know what? I know misery loves company, but if you're in foreclosure, right now you're with Jose Canseco. And Henry Ford. And MC Hammer. <laughs> he really is a musician at heart. I know. Can't touch and, us. and this one kind of surprised me. Walt Disney went into Ooh. foreclosure. We can even go back to as far as Abe Lincoln. That's really a killer. And he did pretty good for this country. That's our show this week. Thanks so much for watching. Lots uh -uh. of changes going on. Uh -uh. Bye. You're, you're not ending this show without <laughs> us talking about the Super Bowl. Oh, that's right. There's, Do you remember 49 we didn't, we Let didn't me mention, explain to you. No, we no, got no. all the way through a show. We didn't mention football yet. Dylan has no clue that the 49ers and the Ravens are in the Super Bowl. No, I don't. Oh, I do know that because, you know what, a very good friend of mine is a Raven fan. Oh, see. Yes, so okay. I did know that She's part. I didn't know the 49ers. So who do you like? Who do you like? Don't, um, tell, shh, don't tell them because yeah, they I might turn I'm us off. I'm not supposed to do that, huh? <laughs> no, no, that's too, I don't know. too debatable. So those are the people that are going, those are the two that are going to the oh, Super Bowl? What, did you say that? What? <laughs> What, what, what was that? You All know right. if you have a microphone right there? <laughs> okay, they can't hear me though, can they? All right. Yep. End the show, yep. will you we'll, please? We'll go like, like football people do. You okay, know, we'll go yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Go, go who? Go, 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 go. All right, no end the show. Us. It's over. Talk about mortgages. <laughs> mortgages. You know, this is a lot of changes going on. We, um, if we don't know where the answers are, we do know where to find them. So reach out to us. Give us a call. It's Facebook, all in Twitter, the play all it's, that stuff. It's all in the playbook. Blogs. It's all in the playbooks. <laughs> we are today and every day. Moving forward. We'll see everybody next week. Bye-bye. Ow.